Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at Wearable Technologies in uh, Munich, and I'm joined by Blake from Zinc. Blake, thanks for talking to me. You uh, co-hosted co with um, one of your colleagues here today. Tell me about the presentation and the product, but more importantly, what you do as an organization. Right, so at Zinc we, we partnered with Bloom Technologies. They're mm -hmm. a startup that basically is looking at uh, the healthcare world uh, from a consumer standpoint and really focusing right now on pregnancy. And they came to us early on with a, with a bit of a problem. They had fantastic technology, a real history of developing fantastic technology, sensors, uh, data transfer, data algorithms, a whole back end. But what they didn't really know was how to create a product that would really connect with, with pregnant women mm -hmm. from a physical standpoint, putting wearable sensors on the body, uh, but also from a, an emotional standpoint, having something in and on around your belly yeah. uh, in your day-to-day -day life from you know first trimester all the way through to, to birth and beyond. Yeah, okay. So we've seen a lot of new technology here and, and that really drew my attention because it was the first one that was really talking about design. And design covers lots of there are lots of important areas. Manufacturability is kind of the back end of it, and I think a lot of people are taking care of that. But like you say, it's that whole comfort thing. How does that, how does that process work from the very, very start, and how early do you need to be involved? Yeah, well, I mean, they came to us with a, a pretty high-level hypothesis about what, what they felt would be good for women in the space. Mm. And we said, great, we'd love to be on board. But, you know, we really need to look at understanding them better. So we, we kind of developed the program with them uh, to look at initially... Uh, talking with women, talking with caregivers, talking with the families of women, of course, uh, and, and we went into the field. That was really like a really first part of, of the whole process was to understand. And so, it, you know, at that point, we, we came up with some really interesting insights. Um, we talked with women about their journey and the troubles they go through day to day, what it's like in the first trimester of all the hormonal changes, morning sickness. Um, you know, all the way through to the, the weight of the third trimester and being nervous about, you know, contractions and, and actually giving birth. Yeah. So it's, it's really about understanding their world, letting the woman tell their stories. And from that, you, you gain those great insights. Yeah. And then, you know, we talk more with the Bloom guys, okay, let's, 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 let's start to create a vision from those insights. And at that point, it was lots of workshops, synthesis workshops, where we all got together, both the, the researchers, uh, the designers, the Bloom team, uh, and we just discussed everything from mm. both a user standpoint, a technology standpoint, but also what businesses could come from this. And, and one example of that is we talked for a while about you know, a disposable sensor versus a reusable patch uh, with, a, with a, you know, a, a consumable and a, a permanent product module uh -huh. uh, with a consumable patch. Yeah. And that has a totally different business case than if you, if you have something that's totally disposable, you have to think about the problem in a totally different yeah. way. Okay. So during the synthesis process, we came up with a bunch of ideas, some that stretched the length of the, of the pregnancy, some that were more focused on specific areas. And in evaluation sessions with, with the mothers, again, mm. uh, we found out that you know, they were real, the real problem was contractions. Right. And that's why we really narrowed down to that particular subset of issues, even though Bloom as a company wants to expand much beyond that to the full yeah. length of pregnancy and beyond. Yeah. I thought what was interesting as well is that, that it went beyond the product design. It went into the design of the app, the color palette, the logo. And I, I like the idea that you were avoiding that trend that's really strong of, of either things to appear to be very athletic in this space or very geeky. Right. And that seems to be that seems to be the two boxes that people jump from one to the other of. No, that's a really good point. And I think, you know, because we're a, a boutique agency, we're able to look at the problem holistically in a very small scale way, but also multi-dimensional way. Right. So we're able to look at the hardware, the design and the development, uh, the digital experiences mm. on the app, uh, both the design and the development, but also the brand. We knew that brand was an important aspect that they had to convey to the audience, mm. to their investors, and ultimately to the, the customers. Um, and yeah, we, we realize that it's, it's not a sport app. There are no. elements of it that are about you know, making sure you're healthy and yeah. getting the right amount of exercise and the right amount of relaxation. Um, but you know, it's, it's not about jumping around through hoops. No. It's about the opposite, actually. Yeah. And we also didn't want to go too medical. So we kind of found a, a, a color palette, a, a whole mood, a whole tone of voice that really spoke colorful, vibrant, and life, mm. but really a little bit muted, so it's not so, hey, we're here. It's yeah. more like, hey, I'm pregnant, but this is an awesome experience, and I, yeah. really, I really get it. So 
uh, you know, to be able to look at all of those aspects in, in a holistic way was really valuable, but also to find that right tone of voice yeah. uh, was something that we really enjoyed during yeah. that process. Yeah, and, and just, just as a side note, fascinating, fascinating event here, lots of new technologies, um, some particularly for, with, with women in mind. We saw one today, uh, pelvic floor exercise yes. thing, which I just tweeted absolutely there, fascinating. Yeah, <laughs> intro, a really interesting product. I was, I was uh, very impressed with that. Apart from that, what's, what's really, really uh, interested you at this event and what's one that you thought, wow, I would have loved to have been involved in the design of that one? Oh, it's a good question. Okay, uh, yeah, I think the one that I think is really interesting that ha they haven't found a use case yet is the, I don't know what the exact name was, I think it's a flow analyzer. The one with the, but oh. you look at the acetone on the breath. Yeah, fabulizer. Fabulizer, there you go. Yeah, uh, yeah really interesting. I think they've got a, an interesting take on technology. I think they've got a real battle to commercialize that. Yeah. I think they don't even know who their, their real users are yet. Nope. They don't know what the form factor will be. Um, but I would love to get involved in something like that because that's a real challenge. Yeah. And I think, you know, if you if you could find the sweet spot of, you know, right market size, uh, right type of market that will fit their technology, and then implement that really well, I think yeah. they've got a they've got a good chance. And that's a classic opportunity because Fabulizer are literally at that very early phase where they have a they have a concept, they have a technology, they protect it, they have the patents, they have nothing even like a product they don't know whether it's going to be a blow-in device or warm device yet yeah. so it'll be exciting to get involved and i know with companies like that they need people like you but they need manufacturing partners exactly. fulfillment the whole thing yeah i mean they're just at the beginning of their journey and, and it's exciting to talk at that part mm. you know because sometimes when they've already got a, a package already worked out from a technology standpoint you don't have as much influence on yeah. where they could go so with the bloom guys it's great you know we were able to get in there right at the beginning yeah uh, with someone like these guys maybe you know yeah. you never know and us or someone else could help them out to yeah. to really design help design the experience as well as them designing the the new technology and I yeah. think that's important they go in hand in hand from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Blake, thanks for your time. Fascinating to chat and I hope we can talk again soon. Thank you.